Hey guys, Drakester here, and tonight I'm going to show you how to make chicken pot pie two different ways. One way is, I would say, the easy way. The other one's easy too, but just takes a little longer. So stick around, and we'll get okay. to cooking. First thing we're going to do is chop up one sweet onion. Give it a quick chop here. I'm just going to saute this with the celery and the carrots and the butter here in just a second. Now I'll do our celery. We have two stalks of celery. Three cloves of garlic. Dice them real small, small as you can get them. Okay. We have our vegetables cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and transfer them to a pan with some butter and saute them down. I'll tell you, tonight I'm drinking a pomegranate margarita, which I'll put the recipe on in a later episode, but these are delicious. So that's just what I'm drinking if you see us sitting around tonight. Okay, we're gonna use one full stick of butter. Melt that down a little bit, and then we'll add our vegetables in once this is melted. Something very satisfying about watching this butter melt in the pan. A couple more minutes, and we'll be able to add our veggies. First thing we're going to do is put our garlic in. That's two to three cloves of garlic. We have two stalks of celery and one sweet onion. Let those all get in the pan and get happy in the butter. Butter makes everything better. We'll let that cook down for about five minutes. Here we're going to add our carrots in. It's a beautiful color. Let this cook down about five minutes. That smells great. Okay, now we're going to add about a third a cup of flour. Stir this in to make a roux. This will suck up all that butter. Give this a nice consistency. So when we add it to our pot pie, it gives it a nice kind of a creamy consistency. It's not all runny. I'm going to turn my fire down a little bit, about medium low. I'm going to add two cups of chicken stock. Stir this in. I'll let this reduce down for just a few minutes. Let it thicken up a little bit. Okay, while this is tightening up, we'll go ahead and add some pepper. And then we'll add some salt. Just as soon as we get the pepper in. Okay, well, let just after this cooks down a little bit, we'll taste it. See if we need to add any more. See how this is coming together, thickening it up nice. Okay, let's go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream in. We've got about a half a cup. Stir that together. And the last thing we're going to put in it. It's about a half a cup of shredded cheese. All right, I'm just using some Colby Jack. We'll put this in. Let it melt down. And then we're going to take it off the fire. And put it in a bowl and mix it in with the chicken. We are ready to give this a taste, all this creamy goodness. This is a beautiful color. That butter makes it nice and velvety. Let's give this thing a taste. Oh yeah, that'll do. We can go ahead and add it to our chicken. Okay, for my first recipe, we're gonna use rotisserie chicken. I've just coarsely chopped it. We're gonna use two cups. 
There's about three cups off of this chicken, but uh, we're gonna make another one tomorrow, another pot pie. We're gonna put it to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and mix our ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and add, add the sauce to it, and doesn't that look good? Now if you notice, this is missing peas, and that's because I just don't like peas, so I didn't add it to mine. The next one, the next recipe has peas. And we're, we'll put it together here in just a minute. So let's uh, incorporate this chicken in here. Man, doesn't that look good? Wow. Smells amazing. On these, these dark, dreary, rainy winter nights, boy, this is just a perfect meal. And, uh, and then you can reheat it tomorrow, take it to work with you, whatever. But yeah, this is delicious. We're gonna go ahead and set this one aside and we're gonna go ahead and put the other one together and I wanna show you the difference. All right. So for this recipe, we boiled a couple chicken breasts, shredded them down. Now we're gonna put two cups of this chicken breast in this bowl. Now this, this recipe is way quicker, way easier, and if you have a family, you get home, and you don't have a lot of time, this is one you wanna make. So you've got two cups of shredded chicken. Okay, next, we're gonna put a half a cup of sour cream in the bowl. Get all that out of there. No sour cream left behind. Okay, next we are going to mix one can of Campbell's cream of chicken soup in with the sour cream. I'm telling you, this is one easy recipe right here. And it is, it's very good as well. We're gonna do a taste test after this is over when we get them out of the oven and see which one's better. But they're. They're both good, but we've never done them both side by side. So once we get this mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that into our two cups of chicken. All right. Give that a stir. Get everything nice and coated. Then we're gonna add our peas and carrots. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and add some frozen peas and carrots. We're gonna put a cup of frozen peas and carrots in here. And as, like I said before, I didn't put this in the other recipe. This goes in here. And then we're going to use one cup of good old Velveeta cheese. It melts down nice and creamy and delicious. I'm not a big Velveeta fan, but I am in this dish. So go ahead and add a cup of that in there. We'll give it a good stir and then we'll be able to put it in the pie pans. Just about ready to go in the oven. We'll go ahead and add our salt and pepper to this. Okay, let's give it another mixy mix. Well, these are some hearty dishes too. Okay, now we're ready put them in a pie pan. Next thing we are going to do is we're gonna go ahead and put our pre-made, we're gonna put our pre-made pie crust. This is Pillsbury, makes it pretty easy. I'm not much of a pie crust maker, so we're gonna use this. We sprayed our pan with some Pam cooking spray so it doesn't stick. I'll go ahead and put this in here. And just gently push it into the corners here, the sides. It's not very pretty, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna put our filling in. All right, look at all those beautiful peas. Just kidding, I'm not much of a pea fan, but a lot of people like them, I'm just not one of them. So now we got that in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our pie crust on top. Roll this baby out. You wanna keep these in the fridge right up until you're ready to use them. Okay, I'm gonna lay this right on top. Now we're gonna just kind of just kind of fold the edges in and pinch them. 
to squeeze it in with the lower the lower crust kind of seal seal everything in there together I know for all you women out there who are probably cringing at the way that I'm doing this please don't judge me I don't make pies but we'll make it look pretty though maybe it's like a Frankenstein pot pie okay so that doesn't look too bad okay now we're gonna go ahead and put some vent holes in it and I oh that wasn't very good there's our vent holes a little smiley face and we'll put some egg wash on it you like my little cute little brush here all right here's our beautiful pot pie the egg wash this gives it a beautiful shine gives it a good golden color when you take it out it's not necessary it doesn't really add any flavor to the dish this makes it more attractive and you know what they say you eat with your eyes first so we've got this one together and now we're going to go ahead and put the other one together all right this is pot pie number two this is the one that we don't have any peas in and that we sauteed all the vegetables and butter i'm going to go ahead and add this to our pie crust and get it ready to go in the oven. Go ahead and scrape it out. I just tasted it again and man, this is gonna be good. All right, this is number two. Got the egg wash on it. We're gonna go ahead and put it, you always wanna put these on a cooking sheet tray or a cookie tray because if it overflows, it won't get your oven dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on a pan beside the other one and get it in the oven. All right, we've got them on a cooking sheet. They look happy, I'm happy. Got to cook these at 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes. We'll check them around 50. Got to get that cheese melted and get this crust done. But we'll be eating in about an hour. All right, guys. Take a look at these. These have been in the oven right at an hour. We took them out. We let them set for about 15 minutes. That way it'll kind of congeal a little bit. Hopefully it won't run everywhere, but we're going to give it a cut and see what it is. So I'm going to taste test them both. I'm going to take a little slice of both of them here. It's going to be nuclear hot, too. Okay. Ooh, this is the one with the peas. Pretty excited about that. Just kidding. I'm really not. And then this is the other one without the peas. Probably could have let them set a little bit longer, but they will still be good. Yeah, I didn't get the bottom crust. There we go. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. It'll still taste the same. Okay, well, let's give her a try. See which, see which one I like the best. Okay, let's go ahead and give these a try. I'm gonna try the ones with the peas first. Got to get a little crust in there, a little chicken. That's really, really good. I've had both of these, but not side by side. Let's go ahead and try the other one. Get them peas out of there. That's a toss up. I think if this didn't have peas, I would like them both equally as well. I give them both eight out of 10. If you like pot pies, give them a try. And I think for all the extra work for this one, I would probably just not put peas and make it like this. So thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the content. Please hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. I'm gonna eat.